What is up guys? It is SJB Santos, the social media manager for the Bosco Esports program. And today I'm very excited to bring you guys our very first casting of Splatoon. So look forward to it and we'll be right back. All right, so joining me today is our head console coach, Alex Nishimura. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Great. Okay, so, you know, we're going to get into Splatoon today. And mm -hmm. me being a, a PC majority player, I've never gotten a chance to, uh, you know, learn about it nor play it. Uh, on, I, I guess the most experience I even have on a Switch is Smash, but, you know, everyone's kind of played Smash. Yeah. So uh, you just give me, like, a little basic rundown of uh, what Splatoon is. So Splatoon is a 4v4 paint-style shooter. Uh, very, very fast paced. There are five different modes, Turf War, Rainmaker, Splatstone, Tower Control, and Clan Blitz. And we'll go over those as uh, as we see them. Um, it's, it's like your typical shooter, but instead of bullets, it's paint, and you're trying to paint mm -hmm. all around right. the arena and stuff like that. And your paint utilizes how fast you can move around the, around the map. And also the paint can, the opposing paint can also hurt you. Okay. On, all around the map, so you don't want to be in the paint as you're moving around mm -hmm. in their paint. You want to be in your paint the right. whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll kind of delve a little bit more into it as we see things pop up on the screen. But uh, now, kind of going into our roster, um, mm -hmm. I don't necessarily, I haven't gotten a chance to like meet them or uh, just talk with them because when I was here, there was only League of Legends. And from League of Legends, uh, some of our players kind of branched off to Overwatch or Valorant. So I, I know of their names and I've talked to some of them, but I haven't gotten a chance to meet our uh, Splatoon team. So you want to like go down the list and, and kind of give us a little uh, brief description of our players? Yeah, so we have four players, uh, one senior, one junior, and two freshmen. Our senior is SJB Sombri or Sombriol. His name is Gabriel Garcia. He is our captain of console. Uh, very, very, knowledge very, very knowledgeable in a lot of games. Um, mm -hmm. and very, very vocal, love his communication, love how passionate he is. Uh, our junior is a strippy star. Uh, his name is Antonio Perez. He is very, very knowledgeable of Splatoon. Mm -hmm. So talking with both star and Sombri, I can go about trying to create some center, uh, some different synergies, some different comp compositions of weapons and how we're going to move around on certain maps and certain modes. So yeah. that's really great to have them. Um, our two our two freshmen are Levi Zandi, which is SJB Bacon. Love the name. I love the name too. <laughs> uh, he's very he's very new to Switch. He just got it as soon as uh, you know we. Uh, so it's kind of in the same boat as I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's picked up the game really quickly he's learned a lot he's gotten so much better since he first started and can't wait to see how he progresses further in, as the season goes along and then last but not least we have uh nicholas valenzuela which is sjb nick b gaming yt nice shout out to this youtube <laughs> yeah shout out to his youtube uh he's not he has some experience in splatoon we need to work on some things with him, but he is very, very good. Our whole team is good as a as a composition, but our com our communication was, you know, lackluster in the beginning because it's a very, very new team. Right. None of them really played with each other before this. Yeah. So as the weeks progress, we've gotten a lot better in talking and everything and being able to call things and being able to you know, call each other out when mm. something happens that yeah. shouldn't, you know, in the in game especially, and then talk about it after. And that's the thing about them is that they're willing to talk with each other. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So it looks like uh, our game's going to be starting soon. So we'll just uh, try to pull up that on our screen here as we get into it. Okay. So earlier you were talking about there was uh, five different game modes mm -hmm. in the game. So we saw right now in the beginning screen that they're, well, we are currently going to uh, play uh Rainmaker. So yes. what, what's kind of the gist of this? So Rainmaker is basically like capture the flag, if you want to think about it. Mm. But the flag is a fish cannon. 
and it can also shoot your color paint when you have control of it. Okay. So instead of taking your flag, taking the fish back to your side, you have to take it to the opposing side, mm. and there's a zone that you need to drop it off. Okay. So it looks like what we kind of want to do here is we want to cover as much of the map as we can with our color paint because obviously that grants us a little uh, movement advantage in regards to being able to move faster. But yeah. not only that, you kind of restrain and pressure uh, to where exactly the opponent can move. Yes. Um, so obviously it looks like paint. Well, I, I get, you know, obviously it's the theme of the game, but it looks like paint, paint uh, is a huge, huge factor in this game. Yeah. Um, so looking at the Rainmaker itself, uh, it looks like a cannon. Yeah. And it looks like we're trying well obviously we're not just kind of holding it and trying to kill mm -hmm. each other like what, what exactly are we going to do with it so you see where nick is heading towards that little uh spot per se right near our base or near our spawn that's where they're trying to drop it off okay so it's like capture the flag a bit mm -hmm. yeah okay so essentially it's rather than you know Standard capture the flag when we uh, capture an objective and bring it back to our spawn. Mm -hmm. We are trying to get it to their spawn. Yes. Okay. I, I see the creativity in that. It's a lot. It's a, it seems like a bit more challenging than your typical capture the flag when you just kind of retreat into your own territory. Yeah. Kind of have to go deeper. Yeah. So that's cool. Whereas in you know regular capture the flag, the flag isn't. We have a flag. They have a flag. They have their flag. We have their flag on our right opposing side. So yeah, it is similar in that fashion, but. At the same time, it's one thing in the middle, and we have to go grab it. Right. So it looks like I've been looking at a, a few of the formations that um, we've kind of been uh, looking at. Mm -hmm. um, so it looks like we are playing a, a type of strategy in which we are trying to cover the area surrounding the Rainmaker carrier in our color paint. Uh, so what, what, what is our strategy specifically uh, coming from you? So basically what we're trying to do is have Two, two guys in front and one guy in behind whoever's holding the Rainmaker. That way, if there's a flank, you know, we can protect the, our Rainmaker and we can start pushing forward. And then our two front guys is we're trying to get entry kills into their side and give our Rainmaker holder some time to get further in and he can just swim rather than be walking all the way across. Mm. And that's what we're trying to do here. So as we go through player to player, I notice that not everyone's kind of holding the same weapon. It mm -hmm. looks like there's a few different varieties and classes uh, of weapons. So tell me, tell me, what weapons are we, or uh, our roster? Like, what do they mean? What, what's the plan here? So our roster is we have a dualies, which is you know, dual dual shooters, very very mobile. Also has a ooh, ooh close. Unfortunate. We're so close. Yeah. Um, so bacon is our dualies. So you know it's two hand or dual weapons. Uh, very very versatile. The only uh, weapon in the game that could dodge, that has a dodge uh, button. Whereas the other ones you have to swim. But there is also another skill that you can pick up to dodge. But that's the only weapon that has. The dodge and then we have a tri slosher which our captain is using because he's mainly our front guy mm -hmm. and then we have a roller which star is using and that covers a, a big basis of the ground trying to paint as much as we can early on yeah kind of creates like a path mm -hmm. and then we have uh nick uh using a spider shot jr right so with the spider shot jr instead of the normal spider shot it has a bigger tank but it shoots a lot quicker, but it doesn't do as much damage. But okay. If you're accurate enough, you can pretty much kill them in three to four shots. Oh, okay. And you see here, Put Star using his uh, bombs, yeah, his so bomb alt right now, just to like create a little bit of space in front. So, as a as the game was kind of progressing, I saw that, that whoever is holding the Rainmaker actually has like a bit of a timer. On top of their heads, what what is that? Uh, what is what is that kind of coming down for? So the timer is it's pushing, uh, putting pressure on the team that has possession of it to get to that the other side quick, mm. because once that timer runs out, it resets into the middle of the map. Oh, okay. So, we just got we yeah. lost it right there. So it looks like I don't know. There's there's an overall general match timer in every single game. It looks like mm -hmm. right up there we just hit overtime. 
Um, so what exactly happens? You know, if we if no team hits a rainmaker, what, what how's that decided? So if we have possession and the time runs out and we have the mo more points, or the if we were the closest to it, it the game will end. Oh, okay. Well, all right. It looks like we're at the very end of game yeah. one. Looks like Bosco takes a dub. Um, and we'll be right back with game two. Yep. Yep. See you guys. And looks like we are back with game two. We kind of caught a, a little glimpse of, of the territory. Or no, it's not sorry, the territory. The the uh, the game mode that we're going to be playing. Uh, it looks like it was territory control. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's called Splat Zone. So Splat basically, zone. yeah, it is territory territory control. There's only for this one. There's only one territory, mm -hmm. and it's the very very middle of the map. Uh -huh. um, think of it as a hard point or domination in Call of Duty. Okay. So you want to keep control of that zone as long as you can. Right. So, so, what, so I see that obviously both teams are kind of fighting for it in the middle here. Um, what exactly, uh, well, when does it count for, for the team? Like I see that there's a mixture of... So when you... My own question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when you look at the top of the frame, you see there's an anchor with uh, purple. Mm -hmm. Purple is our color for this match. Um, that signifies that we have control of the whole the zone. So if you cover majority of it, or majority to almost all of it then you get that I see. counter and then our counter keeps uh dwindling down we want to get to zero before the other team right yeah it looks like bosco is playing a real uh dominating comp here i mean considering we've been able to hold it for about uh what is it 56 uh, without uh, getting stopped i mean yeah. that's i mean that, that was really good yeah in, in regards to like this game itself i'm not sure really what's considered good or what's considered bad but i mean to me it looked like a really good hold right there yeah it was a really good hold unfortunately they used pretty much all, almost all of their ultimates mm. just to retake it and we couldn't hold we couldn't hold our own there nick is just holding out right here trying to get some teammates back into play so uh yeah, it kind of looks like Bosco's making a push here. Obviously, we can see a little bit more purple to get over the middle zone here. Uh, it looks like a 2v1 in the middle, 1v1. There's only one green left. So, okay, Bosco might be able to take this zone. Uh, okay, just drop a uh, rainstorm just to get control back. Yeah, unfortunately, but that should be Star diving straight into. Doesn't look like he played out like he wanted it to, unfortunately, there. Yeah, that was rather unfortunate. He jumped in when our guy died. He was yeah. hoping that our our guys would be able to hold out before he could uh, get in, but that didn't pan out the way he wanted. Yeah, so obviously that kind of went quick. Is there like several rounds to this, or is it just one and it's done? It's just one and done. Just one and done? Okay, and done. well, it looks like that's the end of game two. Real quick, real, really yeah. fast. All right. Yeah, uh, it's such a fast-paced <laughs> game. Uh, all right, so it looks like uh, we'll be right back with game three. We you guys. We are back with game three. Um, I know you were explaining in the beginning that you know Splatoon is generally a very fast-paced game. I did not expect it to be that quick. Yeah. Um, so it looks it, like this was called uh, tower? tower Control. Tower Control. Okay. So what's the basis of this game mode? So basically, we have to take control of the tower that's placed in the middle of the map, and we have to move it to different checkpoints. So we're trying to move it to their side, and oh. we just just made it to checkpoint like, one. Yeah. Just we like that. Wiped all four of them out. Wow. Okay. So that, it looks, of that. that was really good. So it looks like this is kind of like a payload type uh, mm -hmm. game out here. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like Bosco's just kind of making insane progress. Um, we're already over halfway to the uh, distance to the, whatever we're uh, traveling to here. Might not even get a chance to fully explain the game mode as Bosco's just kind of yeah, we're just making insane progress. Checkpoint two. How many check? Is this three checkpoints? Uh, it's three to four. Depending on the map? Yes, depending on the map. Okay. 
<laughs> we, yeah, that was uh, extremely well played by Bosco, it seems, uh, as we just concluded uh, game three. This is probably one of our weakest modes, too. And it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> it, it that, that game, it did not seem like it at all. Yeah. Well, okay, that oh, was the end guys. of game three. Uh, we'll be right back with game four. That is uh, Bosco right there. So we'll be right back. And we are back with game four. Looks like mm -hmm. Bosco is up 2-1. Yeah. Uh, and seeing as it's a best of five, looks like this might just be the end of the game itself. Yeah. So, obviously, we got we kind of got cut off there at the, at the end. Uh, we didn't actually, actually get a chance to fully explain the game mode for the last one, but uh, we'll just move in straight into this one. So, what are we looking at right now? So, this game mode is called Clam Blitz. Uh, we're collecting clams that spread out all across the map or all across the mid middle of the map. You need to collect 10 to get a football. And the football is to break the barrier at your opponent's side to score the clams. Uh, it is a very, very interesting mode. Yeah. We, it's so hard to, uh, you know. So so once we collect those 10 clams and kind of convert them to a football, what's behind the barrier? Or is the goal just to break the barrier? It's to break the barrier and then whoever else has uh, clams or another football just to score it's basically just scoring like basketball in a way. so you break the barrier and pass that barrier is kind of the score the, the mm -hmm. there's a little basket if it. you see on the left left and right of your screen oh, okay, there's okay. a little basket so yeah so you have a timer you have a time limit which is the anchor in the middle again uh tells you how long you have the more the more you score during that time it refreshes it Mm. So, here we're already down 20. 20. Yeah, I mean, it looks like, uh, I mean, consider that, considering that second game, obviously, this, uh, this team's no joke. Uh, they, they, were able, they were able to hold their own against Bosco in that, uh, kind of hard point, uh, mm -hmm. ish game mode. And even though they made it not have done so well in the, uh, in the third one, they were, Essentially holding Bosco to even in that very first one as well. Yeah, um, that one kind of went all the way into overtime even. Yeah, so props to St. Mary's. They were they're a really good school. They're a really good team. Yeah, we were. I mean, obviously, we're still sweating. It, yeah, I mean, uh, we 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 looked a few of their uh, their plays over at the at the hard point ish type uh, game mode. Uh, they were able to coordinate their ultimates really well mm -hmm. and yeah. kind of take over that uh, dominant uh, lead from Bosco right away from them. So, and even now. Uh, it's at 81 to 80, so it looks like St. Mary's is uh, just about even up with us here. Yeah, we're we're one point behind them right now currently. Lower the score, the better for us. Right. And then you see the plus 10. Mm. That, that's like a, a negative penalty, per se. Not necessarily a negative, but they, we need to score that many in order to get the counter to go back down. Oh, so. I see, I see. So it's not just... A straight 100 it'll, it'll be more and more as you progress in the game right th in this mode so we see here that uh nick has a uh, quite a few clams kind of behind him is there anything that the team uh enemy team can do to kind of rid him of that man aside from like you know uh splatting him uh if you force him to ult then he drops them oh okay so utilizing so, your old yeah. drops oh, okay yeah that so definitely puts a be, lot of pressure yeah the, it's a very very pressured game game mode you have to worry about Who's gonna be who's gonna be holding your clams? Who's gonna be the one collecting clams? Who's gonna be the one throwing the football? And that's the coordination that we still need to work on. Mm -hmm. Looks like we're not too far back on this. Yeah, right we just now. about caught up to St. Mary's here, 71 yeah. to 70. Looks like we're trying to force a clam drop and successful from a. I, I forget who the name was there, but I'm still learning them. <laughs> we'll get better as we get through the season. <laughs> yeah, I really that was. Umbrium, I believe it looked like it was our tri slosher there. Yeah, apologies to the player if we got that wrong. Uh, it's like Bacon doing good work here, kind of exploding that. So are these, these? I'm looking at these bubbles across the map. 
so if you shoot them do they kind of just kind of create a, a paint explosion of your color so yes and that is uh nick b gaming's uh ultimate he ah. shoots out bubbles it's pretty it's pretty much a an arrow denial in a in a sense sure how i look at it whereas if they they need to pop it in order to progress or they could just you know not worry about it at all and just go around it but it does make them go around yeah. rather than you know go straight through and then once you pop if you if our team pops at any of our guys it you know it basically gives us a big area okay and the time's winding down here it looks like st mary's is making a push it looks like what we're talking it looks like bosco actually took the lead by about 24. so say um you know say a team doesn't completely get to down to zero and it ends up going in overtime. Does it kind of work in the same way where the team with the lowest score just gets the W overall? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think we're at one second overtime now. Looks like Bosco was able to hold out well against St. Mary's, and I think that's the three-one. Yeah, that that was it. We were able to hold it off. Nice. Nick made an amazing play at the end. His ultimate denied them, as well as he ended up getting a three K to pretty much shut them down at the end. So, obviously, that was uh, the, the very end of our, our match here, and we were able to come up on top against St. Mary 3-1. Mm -hmm. uh, props yeah. to St. Mary, by the way. Um, they were able to hold against Fosco uh, all the way to overtime in two different games and even take a dub against one. So, obviously, they're a uh, very well-put-together team as well uh, to be able to match against uh, the growing talents of, of our Bosco team here. So, yes, you know, yes. props to them. Um, obviously, we didn't get a, a lot of time to kind of go through everything of the game, and obviously, and we'll, we'll take a chance in future videos to... Mm -hmm kind of you know thoroughly go through it so that our viewers uh who may not be as familiar as platoon uh, as i am kind of mm -hmm. uh, learn about the game as, as we cast it uh throughout the season yeah definitely uh, Still have a lot a lot of splatoon left in the season yeah so it looks like that is a great dub today for bosco so we're very happy about that and any final words to say before we kind of end this off no i'm just proud of my guys you know we were struggling in the beginning of the season mm. you know and in preseason we couldn't win a win a map and now we went up yeah and we just we held our own yes yeah, today and definitely some some surprising matches i mean even that the, that third one specifically <laughs> yeah, I, I, that was a very very shocking turn of events i was not expecting us to do so well in tower control i knew we can win tower control but not like that yeah. that was just uh annihilation there on our part yeah our i mean our own teammate our, our own team is kind of just filled with surprising talents that we've yet to uncover sometimes yeah so shout out to you guys uh i'm looking forward to uh casting more platoon w's um you know obviously you're not at fault even if you do get a few l's this is a very brand new team but uh mm -hmm. for being said team uh you guys have done an uh, amazing job today and thank you yeah, yeah. shout out to the team team overall is you as well and that was our very first casting of platoon yeah so, you know, uh, if you guys want to see more of our content uh, and more of our other uh, fields, you know, we have Smash and uh, a few more Overwatch and Valorant stuff coming out soon. Um, so, you know, stay tuned for that. Uh, subscribe. Uh, hit that bell so we get uh, notifications for when we post. And give us feedback in the comments. Uh, we look forward to seeing you guys again. Thanks for watching.